Hello, and welcome to this final walkthrough of the ELC inst installation video series from IDERA. This is Anil Mahadev, a Solutions Architect at IDERA. In the previous video, we definitely went through on how to actually set up the licenses, host them, as well as configure users for that license. In this session, we'll be looking at how you can license your client based on the same steps. Next, we'll go through some documentation and explore some common troubleshooting steps. So without further ado, let's get started. So here what I have is I've launched my ER Studio Data Architect product. And here I'm brought to the serial number and advanced section here. So I can provide a login name or a password. Now this is holds true if you're having a workstation based license, but we're working with a network based license. So all you have to do is click on the advanced button. You're brought to the license uh, management screen. What you'll have to do is first of all, go to your ELC next. So let's go and log into our ELC here. You can do one of two things. Either you can go to the catalog and use the self-extracting licensing exe, or you can just click on licenses here. Click on the license files button. Then here you have a down arrow that shows you the, a download link, which you'll be actually working with. So here what I can do is I can choose the concurrent option. So I'll click on download. And I'm brought to look at this zip file. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and say open. I'll go ahead and extract these onto my desktop. So I'll just click on extract all and extract this to a folder. There we go. Now all you have to do is copy this concurrent.slip file onto the desktop or copy the path here. Go back to the IDERA project registration window. Click on import. And here what I'll do is I'll go ahead and paste the path. Choose the concurrent underscore certificate number dot slip file. Click on open. It should give you an option that says it's gone ahead and imported the license file successfully. So here you can see it's giving me my ELC host. So these are some of the key things to verify the host address, the port number, as well as the certificate number as when it's going to be. Now, as soon as we're done with it, we'll go and click done and you are licensed. So there you go. Now to verify that you're actually using this license, let's go back to the ELC and we'll click on connected users. And there you go. It's actually giving me my username as well as the host name from where I'm connecting the license name, what the type, and whether if I'm online or offline. Now let's look at some of the common uh, documentation of how you would go about doing this. So here, I'm gonna point you to the Embarcadero DocWiki. So it's gonna be docwiki.embarcadero.com. And here I'm gonna click on Data Architect. Here you can go ahead and click on the licensing hyperlink and click on registering a network license. Now you have two types. So while we're installing the hosting the ELC, we used a open registration, which means that it was connected to the internet, but not many organizations will allow you a server to connect to the internet, but you can use this hyperlink to actually go ahead and host the licenses uh, from a workstation as well. Now to register the network based license, you can use this section and it'll give you all the steps that we just follow. And again, looking at some troubleshooting uh, tips, one of the most common issues is that there's no connectivity between the client and the server. That's probably one of the first things that you'll have to look into. The second one is to, and obviously the firewall, then even if the firewall is being opened, you have uh, closed, you have certain ports that you'll have to go with, which are the ELC specific um, ports. And, uh, and 
And if you have any questions, you can log a support case with our support team at idera.com slash support. You can also click on the support link that we have here as well. And with that, here's the hyperlink for the documentation. And here's the ELC troubleshooting the client and the server. Well, I hope you uh, have learned uh, on how to e how easy it is to actually get the ELC up and running and being able to host your licenses and license the IDERA uh, product. I would like to thank you for your attention, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you.